DSHA is just a remarkable place for girls to grow. When they come in as freshmen, they're completely different as seniors. We want them to grow to their full potential. They build so much confidence. That diverse experience that they're bringing to the classroom enriches everybody's experience. And I am blown away by what they are capable of. We are a part of that, and it makes it a really special place to come to work every day. So give me a question that you have about the virtual lab. My name is Leticia Bay. I'm a sophomore here. When I see the teachers here at DSHA, they make me feel love. There's just so much support that goes into my education. And when I walk through those doors and I see their smiling faces, it makes me know that they really do want to be here and they are committed to making sure that I can succeed. And I feel that every day. My parents came here from Senegal around early 1980s. They came to the U.S. so that their children could have better opportunities. Just motivates me in every aspect of my life, especially my education. It makes me just want to work harder. Girls who have a scholarship aren't just known as needy or less. Everybody is seen as one. We're all equals. We're all just one community. I think DSHA has definitely challenged me, especially through the rigorous classes and the athletics. It just makes me feel so grateful that people who don't even know who I am decided to invest in my future. I would like to be a pediatrician, and I just hope that one day I'm able to make someone else's dream come true. I think DSHA prepares you well to really grow into the strong, God-devoted person. It's an amazing place to be. My name is Lucy Radica, and I'm a junior here at DSHA. I play cello, I'm in the orchestra, I do cross country, and I run track, and those have been so impactful to me. Without all the friends that I've made through these extracurriculars, I wouldn't be able to get through every school day because they just bring so much joy to my life. We have our saying, all girls makes all the difference, and I really believe that's true. Some people think it might be cheesy, but that really resonates for me. These girls here are significantly different than girls in a co-ed school. I see the transformation that happens with these girls, the confidence that they build in themselves, and that's gonna translate post high school. It's only gonna develop further because these are the influential years. We get that feeling of self-confidence through the teachers in our classroom. They're encouraging us to talk, formulate our own ideas, and then the teachers help us and build upon those ideas. We want them to grow to their full potential. In my science classroom, it can't just be about science. It has to be the development of their whole being. Every aspect of DSHA is rooted in our faith. We have daily prayers and we have retreats and we have weekly masses and I just love that. I'm so grateful for the scholarship. Anywhere else I wouldn't have been nearly the person I am today. I think knowing how important the scholarship program is, I think as a teacher, that's going to make me come and do better work every single day because I know that there's people out there who believe in you and us and this place. And knowing that means I gotta bring my best every day. <laughs> this is the place for me. To be supported to come to DSHA is just amazing. And I'm so thankful for it. Uh, my name is Ilya Estrada and I'm a current junior at DSHA right now. I came in freshman year, but I was, I'm like a bit shy. DSHA really did transform me from a quiet freshman, now a more outspoken and talkative person. Like sometimes people are like, can you please stop talking? <laughs> My whole life since K-5, 
I always told my mom, I want to be a lawyer because I want to give back and help out people. I'm really passionate about justice in my DSHA. I'm more outspoken of what I believe in. And I see if something is wrong in our community, then I will speak out. My dream of becoming a lawyer, it's reachable now. I'm the oldest in my family and first generation, so I already have accomplished one step of my parents' dreams, which was be the first one to graduate middle school. And now the second step is that I'll be soon graduating from high school. But like, they're gonna see me walk across the stage. My mom will probably cry, and then my dad will probably be like, yeah, that's my daughter. <laughs> I'm probably gonna cry too, because if it wasn't for the help, then I wouldn't be at DSHA, because I'm the first one, so I'm setting the trail for my sisters. Everything happens with the help of Jesus. I always think to myself, oh, like, this is the plan he had for me. I just wanna say thank you. Thanks to these wonderful people that are helping my life and my future. When someone invests in scholarships for these girls, they're providing an exceptional education for that student, but they're also providing an experience and an education for all of the peers that that student is with. When you invest in scholarship for these young ladies, you are changing lives.